tough day for challenges. So the tension is palpable in the boat. <laughs> Shell is still struggling with her design. Chris finished an hour ago. I'm not struggling, mate. Thank He's you. ready to go with the paint as soon as the rain stops. Let's have a look what you've done so far. In typical pattern designer fashion, she's going over the top, being very precise. I just smashed mine out loose and hard. Nice. Anyway, I'm going back to uh, <laughs> try, yeah. trying to put her off and keep nudging her when she's doing really important bits. Another See you in a bit. News. Bye. Don't nudge me. So this week we are doing a Roses and Castles art challenge. I'm going to win. As some of you, she's not. As some of you may have uh, seen on the other end of last week's video, we've got a craft master set of paints. So these have been designed by with the help of Phil Speet. Speet. He's a very famous um, painter. What did you call it? Can I walk? Yeah. He basically painted the boat next door, so I'll I'll just throw that in now. Um, so when you buy the Craftmaster set, you get lots of little tubs. So we've got a limited palette, which somebody wasn't happy about, but. It's expensive paint, so it's a limited palette. That's not why you wanted it limited, though. Why wasn't it? <laughs> Might be easier with a limited palette. Anyway, so it comes with a great little um, demo sheet, a little bit of information on the art, um, and other stuff and some care information. So yeah, this week's vlog is an art challenge. And I'm gonna win. Shell should have been doing a bucket, <laughs> but so, so you the pressure cooker be. So Shell, so Shell um, was might be doing a bucket, but her bucket hasn't come because she didn't order it correctly. I did. So it's Christmas, isn't it? So without a bucket, we've decided to clean. Well, I'm gonna say we've cleaned the coal skull. I mean, I've cleaned the coal skull. So Shell's going to do that, because that was going to be another challenge that we were going to do in the future. Together, but not now. So, it's the watering can with Chris, and the coal scuttle coal with Shell. Coal scuttle for me. So yeah, we're currently in the design stage. Things are prepped, cleaned, ready to be sprayed with the base coats. Exciting. And I'm going to win. <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. Bye. Hardly working out. <laughs> working everything out. Yeah, I think that's going to take the Well, 
So I've been watching uh, quite a few YouTube tutorials about roses and castles and um, I think I'm going to mix up some green even though we haven't got green and it isn't in the colour scheme but then saying that we could use the darker yellow yeah, yeah, yeah. or do I just jump in and get on with it? Not sure. Hang on. So, Roses and Castles is a bit more difficult than we thought. As you saw then, um, I stopped painting directly onto the watering can because I realised I needed to up my skills before I did that. Um, so I've created this practice panel so you can paint on this and then wipe it off. So that's what I'm going to do in the coming days. Yeah, it's quite hard to do the, the rose petal in one stroke really difficult I've tried it before and it's not as easy as it looks at all no there's um I think the skill is in its simplicity hmm. so yeah it's hard yeah so our advice is create a little practice panel and then um, yeah practice before you start on your actual finished piece yeah and I've completely changed my design so I spent hours on a design and then it's not been yeah it's not really me it, it does sort of give a nod to the traditional but I don't want to do the traditional so it'll be a more modern version and it'll be a bit more organic I think so yeah I'm still designing so I'm way off finishing <laughs> so yeah we're uh, we're postponing the challenge but it's been it's been really interesting to look at the history and the origins of the roses and castles and just how murky the origins are I mean some point towards like Romany caravans. Um, others talk about there was this one family in Langollen that used to do roses and they lived near Church Castle. It's, yeah, yeah it's fascinating the history of there's it. A lot of, there isn't a lot of history about it though. When I researched it, when I did those panels, I, uh, I was quite shocked on how little there was. Yeah, how little is known. Because it is quite um, recent history really. It's only like 1850s. Yeah, there's not a lot about it. So yeah, we're looking forward to Ellesmere Port um, opening again, the Canal History Museum there, because we're definitely going to go have a look there. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Work in progress. I'm still winning, though. Have a great week. You it's wish. nearly Christmas. Um, yeah, time was against us, really, wasn't it? <laughs> Our optimism. It's a winter project <laughs> if the weather's really rubbish anyway. Yeah, the good news is we've only got a few more days of work now and then we've both got a chunk of time off. Yay! Where we're hoping to get away on the boat, get away in the van, do some jobs, finish some challenges. Don't fill it up too much. I'm chilling out a bit. Reading, chilling, mm -hmm. drinking wine. Eating. <laughs> so yeah, so we shall see you next week. Take care all. And have a great... Yeah, this is it. Have a great Christmas. <laughs> we won't see you again until after Christmas. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's have crazy. Have a wonderful one. Enjoy. Keep safe. Yeah. What is it? Eat. Eat. And drink and be merry. merry. Eat, drink and be merry. So, yeah. See you later, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs>